Each fall, snowy white fields of cotton provide a beautiful contrast to the blue skies in Suffolk, Virginia. Cotton Plains Farm has been in operation since the 1700s, and for Shelley Barlow, it's a true family operation. While she runs the cotton buggy, her husband runs the picker, and her son operates the cotton compactor, also known as a module builder. Virginia cotton growers are expecting a 90% larger crop than last year, so her whole family is very busy. Virginia really has excellent climate and soils for cotton production. We are at the very far northern edge. We have a limited number of varieties that we can use, and um, so we have to we maybe we have to work a little bit harder at it, but we but some of the conditions that we have, we have less pests, less disease than some of the farther south areas. So year in year, I think the projected crop this year in Virginia, the average is over a thousand pounds to the acre, which is you know anybody in the country would be tickle pink to get that average. Raising cotton requires special equipment different than any other farm machinery, so growers have to be committed to raising it. It's not a crop you can just jump into easily. But Barlow says cotton's usually a dependable crop on their farm. Yields are steady from year to year, one reason they stay with it when world market prices are low. They raise about 500 acres of cotton each season, plus they raise and harvest cotton for some neighbors. This year's wet weather, followed by a dry spell, delayed the harvest some, so now that the fields are dry, it's full speed ahead. It's an interesting crop to grow, because like I said before, we're, we're growing a, primarily a fiber crop, although the seed is used for livestock feed. But we're growing a fiber that, you know, we all wear cotton clothing and it's very sustainable. We grow a new batch of it every year. So it's, you know, it's not synthesized from petroleum. It's a, you know, natural right out of the ground fiber that we can all wear and it's comfortable. And so we, we're really um, happy to be a part of that industry. After the cotton is harvested, it's trucked to a nearby processing plant or gin where the fibers are separated from the seed. The Commonwealth Cotton Gin is only 15 to 20 minutes away from the Barlow Farm and serves cotton growers in several southeastern Virginia counties. Father and son Tommy and Chris Alfin own the gin and supervise the ginning and distribution process. The first thing that happens is that it, it gets dried a little bit to a level where we can clean the coarseness out of it and then uh, it's either dried more or less to uh, clean the fine materials out of it and in the process we are separating the cotton seed from the lint and as gently as absolute possible cleaning the cotton. Virginia cotton growers expect to harvest 83,000 acres this year producing about 190,000 bales of cotton. Producers planted 11,000 more acres of cotton last spring expecting a good market this year. Because most of the crops used to make clothing overseas cotton prices are driven by world demand. Virginia cotton is shipped from the Port of Virginia and other East Coast ports to China, Vietnam, South Korea, and other Asian buyers. There it's made into clothing that's sold around the world. In order for Virginia cotton to bring the best price on this world market, cotton gin employees have to be extremely organized. Once it's bailed and titled, or, or uh, receipted as we call it, it's put into a warehouse, and there it'll be stored and categorized and separated and lotted up into uh, truckloads based upon shipping orders sent from the folks that are buying it or responsible for shipping it. While cotton was a major crop in the Old Dominion for decades, today it's primarily grown only in the southeastern part of the state. The top cotton localities include Greenville, Isle of Wight, Southampton, Surrey, and Sussex counties, and the city of Suffolk. One reason the quality of Virginia cotton is recognized throughout the world is that cotton gin technology allows cotton lint to be cleaned and processed to optimum levels. But it all starts with a top quality crop, and that's the job that Shelley Barlow and her family enjoy the most. In Suffolk, Virginia, I'm Norm Hyde.